Disarm. I mean, it just without the outriders, if you're not bringing a blue unit, you can just bring more infantry heavy wise units. Yeah. So it looks like they've gone. They've basically got barely any cavalry this time. The defenders. So they got, got four, three, literally got four cavalry as defenders. Three Hastings, yeah. They've and got a lot more Dao from the straight off the bat. With it being very infantry heavy on the attack, you see a lot of pikes. It's probably mm. the best thing because Keshigs are quite useless when there's a Madawa unit. You can't do anything with them, so it's probably better to counter more with infantry. You see, there's a lot. Of, they're using a few Reapers as well. And there's a few Shenjis as well. On the, uh, <laughs> In the chat, Liam's like, oh my god, don't let him do it, let me! <laughs> <laughs> the problem is, Liam, right? We need somebody to translate for you. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I'm too tired to do it. <laughs> but yeah, interesting. That I, I, I didn't see any Shenjis on the first match. Is it, was there any Shenjis? I think there was one unit of Shenjis okay. uh, for the defenders as well, from the C point. You know, the like little archway? Going from like the 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 end point to oh, yeah, to C, yeah. they were literally sat there, and I think it was Men Menicheki or something Menicheki. I can't remember his name. I look now. He managed to flank around basically and kill him, and he took out Papa Bear's Armagers at the same time. If I'm not if mistaken. You, if you can keep them defended, especially at the home point when it gets down to the unit count, whoever has the most units, Oops. they can they could really change the way the battle goes with uh, muskets. Right. Because obviously Don't... there's no there's no one uses shield units anymore, so. Don't mind me. So the attackers are going for the B side straight off the bat this time. Defenders have nothing up there, so they're, they're not going to be able to do anything. They're going to get easy to get up to B. Yeah, it's impossible to defend uh, A without any putting any eye down. Just to so delay on this map. Defenders have started with two sets of flamers. They've got three sets of iron reapers. They've got Shenzhen's. Yeah, they've got Shenzhen's out. Javelins as well. Okay, palace guards, attackers, Zikali militia, a couple of crap tier units to push stuff. Okay, yeah, um, the, the Shenzhen's on the last match. Can you see my mouse cursor when I do this? No. Nope. You literally can't. I know, I know what you mean though, it's in that bit, just behind yeah. the... Yeah. Like, literally in the middle of the screen now, I'll zoom in. And we'll stroke it. <laughs> right, so the attackers have got B. They're not going to defend A. Can't imagine them defending A anyway. Although they've got good units oh. to do it. Someone's sailing out. I think it's a delay, delay the towers probably. What am I on about? I just said that the that it's the same way around. This time it's um love and devotion attacking. Yeah, no, it's yeah, it's, it's one attack, one defense each, and then it's you get the points for winning or losing, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it, yeah. Um, so ignore what I just said. It, it, I was it, wrong. The way the way you guys <laughs> are starting now is it looks like they're going to try and defend the bottom of the stairs and the gate. Hmm. The, the way their units are set up, it looks like that that's what they might do because they haven't they haven't fall back to the supply point yet, which is a no. Bit We've still got two dudes that have sallied out. They're coming back in. So Monteki, that Monteki, by the way, was the guy that took out the Shenjins on the last battle when they were attacking. The so A's lost. Yeah, it looks like they're going to try to defend the stairs. Hmm, that's actually a good placement because they've got their their bit their flame. I'll say that double flames and double Shenji, so they're going to try funneling them onto the staircases. By the looks, the of attackers it. have got Zakalian though, so if they can stick them on the stairs like where name is Jim is or whatever, and then throw uh, their fire bombs down, that's going to be easy money. The they sallying out. It looks like they're expecting a big push through the gate, even though everything's on the wall. No, I think they're going to hide their units in the gateway, and then when they start pushing, they bring their units out just to stop them from getting hit by the the Zykons, like you said, probably. Keep them safe in the art in the archway. Hmm. And then once they move down, they probably pull their units out. Interesting. In I've never seen anyone do this on the defense like that. So, I've seen when I did a scrim against plebs, they hard defended the bottom of the stairs on both sides in the gate. So what the other team should do is blow the breach, just so it gives them they, an They extra can't blow lane. the breach? I'll send them uh, with the artillery can, outside, yeah, but they yeah. can't, yeah, so but it takes see, forever. You can see one guy <laughs> already doing it, so yeah, they should have, if... They should have had like one person just focusing that off the yeah. bat, just to get it weak and then ready to destroy it when they wanted. The attackers are actually swapping out units as well. <clears throat> like, there's quite a lot of guys running back to the resupply there to get units, so... 
Unit wise, defenders have lost nine dudes, attackers have lost 80 nearly. But other than that, nothing's happened so far. Yeah, they're not going to blow that breach now. Yeah. That may get harder to defend if they're going to hold the bottom of the stairs now. They might mm. fall back. They might fall back the to breach supply. Is gone. Saying that, if you got if they like on an angle here, flamers to stop a push coming. Saying that, if they got Zakalian up on the wall, where are the Zakalian? Uh, I've got Iron Reapers up here. They're now about they're pushing the ram up. So if they blow the gate, then it's not a good idea to hold in that. There's gateway. there's the Zakalian. So they actually go in breach. I thought they would have gone onto the wall to get like a good angle, but they they haven't. Interesting. So this is Pike Militia. That's just to stall, basically, so they can get this stuff in. They're doing just like one big push through the breach. Pretty sure through the gatehouse is nothing. No gatehouse is nothing pushing through. Oh. Yeah, the flamers from the defenders are going to do work here in such a big blob. Yeah, the attackers. Can't they can't get trapped there either. Nah, the attackers' bombs. I feel like would have been better if they'd have been on the stairs. Yeah, they should. They should have tried to push the breach and have a small group go through this down the other staircase yeah they're they're all funneling into that you can't funnel into flames like that i think no. they're because with them playing two flames as well obviously they're they're gonna try and hold here for as long as they can use their best units yeah and uh the, the attackers years, so. the attackers just lost 230 units man yeah. they just gotta protect their flames now from all these guys jumping on i think they've lost them though It's 11-11. Eleven, eleven. Right, now it's 10-10. So, it's a very even fight. There's still a couple of flamer units up. Um, It looks like the defenders have got it, though. Yeah. Papa Bear's, seven, Papa Bear's yeah. pulling back out. Try to see if, like, at the same time if there's out in the, the tunnels clear. So, even now, they're going to reset getting the units, or they're going to fall back to supply. Because yeah. I... I assume they lost at least one of them flame units on that. We'll see. Now, there's Iron Reapers running that way. There, they've got muskets up there. Where's... Did they maybe lose both? I can't see any. I saw a couple of flames shooting. They've got Zakali Militia. But I actually can't see anything like running back to the point to heal or anything. So they must be dead or being swapped out already. Are they in this blob here? Oh, here's Flamers. Ah, okay. They've yeah, still got a full unit. unit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But they have pulled back, look. So he is Treb safe as well if they do push through this way. Modawan fought a Brachio. They are pushing back up to this bit. Actually, the, the attackers can't push through that breach again. Nah. They, they have to do a split push. Otherwise, they're just going to lose again. Yeah. They should really go. I think they should go on the wall. Do they still have Hit this up? back staircase. Oh, the, the attackers, attackers do have, like, a, the Kaylee militia. The defenders now have Zakalian militia up as well with one flamer. But I think what the attackers need to do is to split them up enough, they need to come through the breach and this back staircase at the same time. I think having the going gateway and breach is too close, which makes it too easy to defend. But they're all stacked at the breach, so. Let me see if I can pop outside quick and see if we spot any movement. Alright, so they're sending stuff up the wall now, there they go. There they go. That would have made no sense to go through there in like one big push again. Oh, name is Jane just fell off the. L <laughs> what happened there? They just ac both of them accidentally rolled off the wall or something. Both musket players must have used their dodge or something. I think they're gonna go down the other staircase. This back one, you mean? Yeah, the the one, the far one. Yeah, the, the, it makes the most sense because then they're spreading the uh, the defenders. Well, they, sorry, they made they made them rotate quite a lot over that side now. Now it, now they should push down that other staircase. Now they've made the move and pushed down the one side. Yeah. Where are the flamers? I think the flamers are at this side. Oh, there was a good fire pot throw though. There's so many. Here's the flamers. So the flamers are still on the breach side or between breach and gate. The back staircase here would be the easier push for the attackers. It's if they see that and actually react to it. This is definitely a lot, a lot better. It's the better thing to do. To this is what they're doing on the attack now. Yeah. 
the the defenders have to push in and stop them from getting out of the bottom of the staircase though when they get to the bottom yeah c is wide open as well so if somebody could like get through the gate say and just start getting on c to make them panic might be the way to go the defenders have still got a good setup at the back here so if the def uh, the attackers do try pushing straight for c they can't do well rotating down the guys the on the wall are attacking at the back here as well a couple just to make sure these can't get into the fight probably the attackers are definitely winning the fight back here Yeah, they, yeah, they they're their own they flamers. Them. Yeah. Oh, Let's come cavalry as well. as well. Yeah, that's going to do work. Oh, the the stopped defenders them. won the back thing there. Short stop stopped the Keshex. They're going to get him now. I can't help. Ooh, that Treb's cool. That's hitting their own units, that Treb. Six minutes left is going to be a big ask as well, especially if this um, attack fails. Yeah, the defenders I mean, have got they, a pretty they, good blob here as well. They still have units up, which is kind of big. They might Ooh. be able to actually get, get through enough. The attackers have got the flamers up though, so if they can keep them flamers defended, the Keshigs here are going to be a problem though. Oh, they went straight into the front of the pikes. Yeah, pike walk. I'm going to quick look at deaths. Uh, defenders have lost 430, attackers have lost 560, so the defenders have definitely got the advantage so far. Oh, these fought Brachio. I think this Mon Monteki stuff there is doing work on that little gatehouse. Yeah, or gateway. Is, once you push through into there and you lose your unit, it's quite a far way to go back to get another For unit. For resupply it. Yeah, which is the... It's got some calf coming through the back there, but... Yeah, I think they're getting they're... stopped though, aren't they? Yeah, they... Oh, they managed to get into the gunners this time though. Yeah, it's kind of a waste though, like you pushed in yeah. and there's nothing there And now, now they've surrounded look completely. And they, and they needed their units, so it was a bit of a waste. Right, so the attackers have to reset. They were down to seven heroes. They yeah, probably right, aren't going to They've got all purples, pretty much. That, that was a better push. That was a better push than the first one. Yeah, just, but the, the unit did... One left. One I'm push saying left. that. Your troops still alive is basically the same, but troops killed is huge difference. Like, yeah. 760 loss for the attackers to nearly 500 from the defenders. And they had seven dead then, so there's still three dead. It's going to be a bit while before they can do a one group push. Yeah. What type of units have they got left? Is it good or is it shit? Just, like, both teams oh, have got good units still, yeah. so... And they've got the same, roughly the same amount of units still as well, so... I think all flamers are dead as well, from what I saw. They lost them on the attack. Yeah, no, none of them have got flamers out. Good yeah, defense though. The defenses still have a lot of units. Yeah, I mean both yeah. teams do. They've got five, like there's 50 units in it, 40, 50 units in it. And now that there's no flamers either, they might actually stand... Oh, the attackers have got two sets of... Uh, no, that's the defenders, sorry. Yeah. Uh, they've got two sets of Sakali militia. So they're I still going to have a blob stopping... It's going to be a tough in one big the push. to win this. Yeah. Especially because they're coming through one slot, or like one side. The Sakali militia bombing that now is going to do work. Monteki in the back again with his cavalry. He's probably going to go for is the Is that blue game, cab maybe. there? Yeah. Yeah, Zed's going to make... They're going to have to answer this. Yeah, you only need one or two to go back, though. Yeah. you got to be careful of them Keshigs, though. On that the... are coming from behind, yeah. Yeah. They should be able to mop them up. Just them two. The blob fight. Let's have a quick look. It looks like the attackers are actually winning that. It looks like they're slowly grinding forward, at least. That Treb's mainly going to hit the attackers. I don't know if that's going to be a good Treb or not. Is that, is that enemy, is that attacker's Keshix there? Yeah, it is. Yeah, okay. going to the resupply here. That guy, there's the guys that went on C might, might have pulled enough of them off to actually help them at the front, but. Yeah, but I don't think they have, like back here's not really much going on, it's just clearing up units, like heroes. The defenders have won that fight as well. It looked like for a while that the attackers were actually gonna win it, but um, apparently not. Dead. I think it's over yeah. now. It's over. Very Eight. good defense. Very good defense. So that's one one, three points each. It's it's kind of risky doing that kind of defense because if you lose it on the first push, you lose a lot of units. But it is a very hard map. 
Especially once the... I oh know, you can't destroy the, the bridge on B. I mean, you could push down from the staircase from B, but... It's funneling down. There's, it's just funnel points. If you can engage, if the defenders engage on the bottom of the staircases or in front of the breach, then it's, it's not an easy map to attack. But most people just go back to the supply point in C when they defend it. Right. Sorry about the blur over where the chat normally is because you have to block the chat. So apologies for blocking that part of the screen, boys. Did not see that before. <laughs> Good job I looked over <laughs> and read something for once. So that's 1-1, one, one. so three points each. This is going to be over in two minutes, and then the next round starts in like five. What's the next game? Inject the next versus... game is Jekt Ultras against Blame Elias. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's... I think that team is... Um, some old legendarian, if it's Elias. Um, let's have a look. Smoke out the way. Yeah, the, the attackers are still trying, but I don't think they can do out here. They've got 200 units left. The defenders have still got 300. I mean, they've still got decent units, but they just don't have the numbers, man. Like, pretty much everyone on the the defenders has still got a unit bar one guy. And on the attackers, it's like half the team are missing stuff. There you go, they've just been wiped. Okay, yeah, so it's Blame Elias is mainly Legendary and Inferno, by the look of it. Yeah. The one from EU1. That was a very, very strong defense. Very strong defense. Oh, I just read in Slavs 2 0, I think. But from if it's a mixed team on the attackers, uh, I think they're a late entry as well, weren't they? This their love and devotion. So, I mean, they probably haven't practiced much of a team, and they did, they did quite well on the defense, considering. Yeah, I mean, they their own defense they won. Obviously, they got pushed back to the to the main point, but I think that was what they were planning for, because outriders don't do like a massive amount of insta shock damage. You know what I mean? They did a wipe shit. They fucking like do it over time. So I think that was what yeah. they were planning on doing, like having to pull back and uh, just continuously doing their damage. And apparently I can't click on anything. Oh, I'm trying to click on personal stats like I'm in a siege myself. <laughs> Fuck me. Right, so deaths. Mm. Yeah, the attackers had a lot more deaths this time. So Rose on both fights lost less heroes than Love and Devotion did. Obviously it was 1-1, one, one, so it doesn't really make a difference, but that was strong showings from both teams. So very good, very well played, both Love and Devotion and Rose.